things Christianity slash the church slash Christians are responsible for. Most of this is going to be not the Eastern Orthodox Church, but the Roman Catholic Church. Um, and some will be because of, a few might be pro because of Protestants, but I'll point that out uh, when we get to it. But most of this is really the Roman Catholic Church. First one, hospitals. Um, hospitals uh, for everyone. Um, well, hospitals in general and hospitals for everyone. And if you notice that uh, every culture and country in the world, um, first hospitals were founded and run by the Catholics. And for the next hundreds of years, they were done that way. And in most places, they still are. Um, not in just Christian lands, but in, you know, Muslim countries, too. If you ever go to the Middle East, um, every hospital is basically at least began by the, the by the Catholics and uh, India as well, China as well. Um, although China has, you know, <clears throat> communist hospitals now because of, you know, uh, the Cultural Revolution, but the ones that brought it there were uh, the, the Catholics. Uh, abolishing slavery. Worldwide, three different times. Um, yes, every culture practiced slavery, um, except it was abolished in Christendom, but only brought back in 1492 when the uh, Hispanics reconquered the Iberian Peninsula from the Arabs, and they saw how their lucrative slave markets, and quickly the church condemned that, but you know they still kind of did it. And then uh, it was the Christian civilizations that, out, that uh, you know, abolished it. Some through peaceful means, others through war like the United States, others through, because they didn't want to slaughter a bunch of people, they just bought, the, the, the government just paid for the freedom of all the slaves. And then the French and the English, uh, their reason for conquering Africa was to end the slave trade that the Arab slave trade that was going on watch ghosts in the darkness or anything like that yeah did uh this was this was before uh that asshole uh, Leopold of Belgium by the way he was evil um and I'm not saying colonization is good but yeah it was the Christians that put an end to slavery um universal rights Yep. Constitutional republics. Yep. Literacy. Yes. Um, universal literacy. Yes. The printing press. Yep. Specifically. Books. Funny enough, I actually found this out from an atheist uh, because books were just scrolls, right? But because of the Bible and you having to constantly flip between, you know, the Old Testament prophets or the Torah and the New Testament to kind of understand what the people in the New Testament were talking about you know, our concept of a book, of a, of a bound book, you know, this thing, what used to be called a codice, um, that was, the, the church created that. Um, science, yes, science, um, because it's also linear time, the idea that uh, pre-Christian religions believed that, except for Judaism, believed that the universe was eternal, and the gods arose out of, you know, primordial stuff, whereas the Judeo-Christian God and Islamic God believe that uh, God existed, and then he created the universe, and um, since the universe was created by him in order and perfectly before the fall, um, that uh, you could learn about the created world and that would give you more, um, a better view of God. Paul even says, you know, the stars up above and even nature itself points towards the existence of God, you know, and mathematics being the fingerprints of God and all that. Um, the preservation of other cultures. Yep. 
uh, that's why we have things like the Vinderland Saga and stories about the Celts. That's why we have all the pre-Christian Roman uh, philosophers and writers and even anti-Christian writings uh, from the, uh, the Romans and the Greeks uh, and some of the Egyptians too. Uh, history, yeah, history itself, you know. Um, the Big Bang by Lemaitre. Atheists hated the Big Bang and believed in a, an eternal steady-state universe pretty much universally up until about the mid to late 80s, and then they started accepting that it was okay. It is a Big Bang. And then they hit the jackpot when, you know, um, in the late 90s when the evangelicals had this crazy reaction about young earth creationism, which was never part of Christianity. And then the atheists claim that, oh, atheists believe in the Big Bang. Well, for, you know, previous, you know, 80 years, they were screaming that it was a Catholic conspiracy because it does answer the cosmological uh, proof for God. It's four proofs for God. And that's one down that there was a definitely beginning to space, time, energy, and matter. Uh, humanism came from the Roman Catholic Church. Cosmology came from the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, genetics, Gregor Mendel, uh, the discoverer of not only cells, but also genetics through uh, his uh, pea plant experiments. Calculus and trigonometry created by um, Protestants, Leibniz, and um, Sir Isaac Newton, two very fanatical Christians, and so is Edmund Halley. Uh, the linear view of time. Uh, the Eastern Orthodox have both a linear view and a secular view, a cyclical view, um, but the Roman Catholics have linear view of time. Uh, the ending of human sacrifice, that's 100% true. The ending of cannibalism, yep. Uh, uh, introducing charity, compassion, and mercy to the new world or to the people of northern North America because it actually was not... Uh, they considered uh, charity, compassion, and mercy to be the same thing as weakness and cowardice. And it was... It was, it was, uh, it was shameful. It was not a virtue. It was a vice to them. Um... To many non-Christian places. Oh, also the idea of uh, witches and witchcraft was abolished. First twelve hundred years of Christianity, if you were to accuse somebody of being a witch, the church would uh, ask you, would invite you to come in and say, uh, "You need to be catechized again because there's no such thing as witchcraft or witches." It's just trickery. No, you can't make pacts with the devil and get powers from the devil. That's, that's anti-Christian. Um, but then there was, because of the rising of Protestants and all this kind of stuff, uh, just before what we would call the Protestant Reformation with Luther, but there was already grumblings of Protestantisms with the Hussites and Tyndale and Wycliffe that uh yeah that's that's when the church kind of the catholic church kind of get also got infected with the idea that witches could be real but before that it was universally understood that witchcraft and witches do not exist uh shocking i know but that's the truth again atheist historians will back me up on this unless they're lying all right uh, if you um, know of any other contributions or can think of any other contributions that the Roman Catholic Church or Christians in general or Christianity uh, has given the world, please uh, please uh, put it in the comments below because I'm sure I missed a lot. And if anybody wants to challenge me any on any one of these and 
wants me to make a full video going in depth on it, I certainly will. Peace to you.